Welcome. In front of me is a TCL Tab Max 10 and today I will show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this tablet. So in a moment you should see that the tablet for me is locked, it's just checking for updates, give it a moment. But while it's doing that, I'm going to quickly mention that you will need to have an internet connection. So if you're at the beginning of the setup, just proceed through it, connect to some kind of Wi-Fi network. And once you have done so, we can then back out back to the first page, uh, which is like the language selection page. Now, hopefully this will finish looking for whatever it's looking shortly so I can continue. So in a second you'll see that the device is locked with a pattern, there we go, and also Google account. Come on, it's just a Google account. There we go. So you can see in both cases it tells me to verify one or the other in order to finish up the setup. So we don't know those, so we're going to just bypass this by going back to the first page. Now like I mentioned, you do need to be connected to Wi-Fi network. I have already done so. And from here, we'll select Vision Settings, Talkback, Enable it, OK. Talkback on. Oh, there we go. Welcome to Talkback. Welcome to Talkback, page one of five. Now, I did mute it as much as I can. It never actually goes fully uh, muted. So to me, it's a little bit distracting. That's why I do turn it down. I'm also going to turn down everything else, which actually, now that I think about it, might not have been such a great idea, so never mind, I'm going to undo some of it. Uh, I'll, I'll quickly explain why I undid this. Uh, once we get to the next part, uh, we do have some auditory uh, sounds that will define our next steps, so it's nice to actually hear them. So anyway, once you see this page, you can mute the talkback if you want to, if it annoys you like it does me, uh, it's completely fine. Uh, we don't need the talkback actually telling us anything. We just need it to access this by drawing a mirrored L like I just did. Come on. There we go. That's what we're looking for. So, as you just seen, you just draw a mirrored L on a screen and this window will pop up. So from here, select allow or double tap on the allow. And select use voice commands by tapping on it once and before you double tap on it to confirm it uh, i will quickly go into what we will need to say because this will be uh, strictly uh, voice activated so once you double tap on this you will hear a beep hopefully and once you do that means that the device is listening for a voice command and you want to say open google assistant you will most likely hear another beep that accepts this voice commands and another one that starts listening to you again but this time the Google Assistant is listening to you. So once you hear that, you want to say open YouTube. Now the uh, voice assistant or the Google voice assistant will have a little window that pops up with these four Google dots that will be kind of moving to your voice. So you can quickly uh, discern when you need to say open YouTube. Now I'll do this myself and you can just listen and also see how I do it myself. So. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. So there we go. That was basically all we needed to do. Now, if you uh, just take a little bit too long uh, in either one of those cases, the phone might stop listening to you. If that happens, just repeat the steps uh, at which step you have, you stopped and try to do it again. Now, when it comes down to Google Assistant, if you don't say it in time. Uh, Google Assistant will stop listening to you, but it will stay open, this little window that is visible right here, and you will have a microphone icon. So just tap on it once to select it and then double tap on it again to actually activate it and then follow up with Open YouTube. Anyway, once you have your YouTube open, hold volume up and volume down. You will have this pop up, so select uh, what we got? I think it's. And quickly make sure. Feature, 
So I think we need to select use shortcuts, which is... Uh, but I'm not sure, we'll see. Okay, and now let's hold it again. Okay, yep, so it was use shortcuts. From here, uh, you want to select the, the YouTube uh, icon for accounts. Select settings, about, and then Google privacy policy. Accept and continue, and no thanks. Once it loads Chrome, you want to type right in the search bar, hard reset that info slash bypass. Now I will write it down myself, and if you need a moment to copy it, I can pause the video once I have inserted the actual link. So now would be the time to pause. From here, scroll down. I do get this pop-up, just select consent. Scroll down to settings up right over here, click on it. And once you are in the settings, scroll down to apps right here. Then select view all 39 apps. Tap on the three dots that are barely visible right here and then select show system. From here, you will see two different Android setups. Let's start with the first one. Select disable, disable app, for stop, and okay. Then go back, select the second Android setup, select for stop, go back, and scroll down to Google Play services. There we go, Google Play services. Select disable, disable app, for stop and OK. And once you have done this, we're just going to now back out to the beginning of the setup. Now, the reason why I wanted to mute the sound before is because of this. I'm going to do that right now because it is quite annoying. I'm going to continue backing out. And as you can see, once you back out, it doesn't actually bring us back to the language selection where we should be. It just basically crashes the entire setup and gives us the last page, which is the user uh, agreement. So just, actually that's not even the user agreement. This is, so from here, select finish. And as you can see, we are now on a home screen. Now, before you go clicking off the video, I will mention there's one last step that we need to do, which is go into the settings. It's a little bit slow. Come on. There we go. From here, scroll all the way down to system. Reset. Factory data reset. Reset device and press on erase everything, which will basically begin a factory reset of your of your tablet, which is uh, what do you want to do at the last step. The reason for this step is even though you have access to your home screen right now and you can use the tablet, it is still technically locked. The previous information like the uh, pattern for me and the Google account is still present on this uh, device. And additionally, we also disabled the uh, Google Play services, so we wouldn't be able to log into a couple of things without enabling, but that would cause problems. So, select Erase Everything, which goes to a automatic factory reset of the device. Once that's finished, you will be then presented with the setup screen again. But at that point, you can just go to the setup however you want. The device will be fully unlocked, so you can uh, skip whatever you want, whatever you can, uh, and sign into your Google account if you want to, or skip it. and. It's basically a typical, uh, normal setup screen. You don't need to do any kind of bypassing from there, just set it up however you want. Now, I'm not gonna go through it just to save your time. It's not like you probably can't do a setup of your tablet and the actual factory reset has zero options once you press on this button. So that basically finishes up the bypass of the TCL 10 Tab Max. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.